They were making more money than they knew what to do with, but nobody was checking the financials. At the time, the philosophy was just move fast, break stuff. All you needed was a disruptive idea and the confidence to share it. It was the perfect storm. Now, if we start feeding small dogs to big dogs, instead of having millions of dogs worldwide, we'll simply have one very big dog. When a college dropout walked into my office and told me that he wanted to feed small dogs to big dogs, I said, that's insane. And I fucking love it. At that time, there was just not many people talking about how you could feed smaller dogs to bigger dogs. As you can see, the number of dogs will decrease, whereas the amount of dog will remain the same. We consolidate our loans. Why not consolidate our dogs? When he said that we consolidate our loans, so why not consolidate our dogs? I was like, totally sold. Looking after hundreds of millions of dogs worldwide costs a tremendous amount of time and money. But looking after a single very big dog? This could be done by one lucky boy. They were so happy with the profits that no one asked where the money was coming from. Alarm bells really should have gone off when we saw the graph of their earnings and it said money on both axes of the graph. What would that even represent? When I saw that both axes on that graph were money, I was like, awesome. But then I thought, wait, shouldn't one of those axes be time? But then he said to me, time is money. And I've never respected a guy more. The fact it wasn't a product or a service and they had no way of receiving money really should have raised suspicion. I don't know what I'm doing. I fucking hate dogs. When I invested in small dogs being fed to big dogs, I had no idea that dogs were gonna be hurt. In many ways, I regret publishing my article, 10 Reasons Why Feeding Small Dogs to Big Dogs is the Only Thing Worth Doing. In hindsight, I just didn't have all the facts.